lot of you guys seem to be concerned about seaweed and the radioisotopes from Fukushima that may or may not be present or even abundant in the seaweed. Uh, I bought a pack of that after Fukushima, after the Fukushima disaster as well. This is, uh, you can see, a pack of seaweed of kombu, actually, which is very rich in iodine. So it was supposed to have radio iodine in it, in it as well. And uh, I don't even know if that's the best before date or the date of manufacturing. But, well, as I said, I bought that after Fukushima happened. But I don't know when it was made and uh, it seems to be pretty clean. And it was even clean back then, when it was still supposed to contain some iodine. So, um, yeah. So much for that, but that was just a single pack. So, um, a lot of people asked me if I could do a more extensive study, testing, I don't know, 20 or 30 or maybe even 50 or 100 samples. In theory, I can. The problem is, I can't really afford to buy them all. Just in case you're wondering, whenever I go to Chernobyl or whatever, I never pay for that myself. It's always scientists or uh, film crews or whatever who pay me to come along with them. I just also do my own stuff for my YouTube channel, which kind of makes it appear as if I was alone in the zone, but I'm, I'm never alone there and uh, I never pay for these strips. Just saying, just in case you're curious. But to cut a long story short, if you want me to analyze seaweed from all over the world, you just have to make sure that I can somehow obtain that without having the cash for it. So um, I came up with this idea until uh, November the 1st in 2014. I will accept the, uh, well, orders, you could say. So what you have to do is, uh, first of all, well, first of all, you'll have to want me to analyze seaweed by a gamma spectroscopy and do a qualitative and quantitative analysis of the present radioisotopes, as I did before. Um, that is gamma spectroscopy, as I said, for example, for cesium-137, cesium-134, the main isotopes. I will not be able to do uh, alpha or beta spectroscopy, so this is solely for gamma spectroscopy, but that should be sufficient for the stuff that is of main interest. Um, so, first of all, find a store that ships to Germany. doesn't matter where the store is, if you want me to buy stuff in Japan, in China, in the US, even in Germany, if it ships to where I live, I don't care. So, the store has to ship to Germany. Then you have to convert the price and uh, shipping uh, from the currency used in the store, if it's in Japan or the US or wherever, to the currency you want to donate in. I accept the US dollars, euros or British pounds. Uh, the link will be on my channel banner, so on the bottom right you can just find the tiny little PayPal icons there. And if you hover over them, you will be able to see that there are uh, these three different currencies you can use. And also make sure to only uh, order plants or seaweed, first of all, um, it would suck if I get, I don't know, 50 different samples of different things that would not make a statistically nice thing if I have one piece of meat and one piece of seaweed and one cucumber or whatever. Um, and second, there's an issue with importing fish or meat or uh, dairy products as well. So um, yeah, that doesn't go too well, but there's no problem about seaweed. So let's make this seaweed only, seaweed, kelp, whatever kind of stuff, sushi, nori, just some kind of plants that grow in uh, the salty waters, let's say, okay? So, uh, in PayPal, you have a little uh, text um, text field, basically. Make sure you enter the shop URL where I should purchase um, the stuff. And also, the item number and the name of the item, preferably, just in case the number doesn't work, because maybe, well, whatever issue it might be. And also, state if you'd want me to... Um, to mention your name, your full name, as it will be given by uh, by PayPal when you do the, your donation uh, in the video, yes or no. The default will be no. If you don't say anything about that, I will not mention your name. If you say yes, please do mention my name, then I will say, okay, this piece of kelp was donated by person X. So, if there is a problem, any kind, I don't know, the short store says uh, this item is out of stock or for some reason it cannot be shipped to Germany or whatever there is, I will uh, issue a refund via PayPal by the very latest this date. Because I might just not order them piece by piece every day, but rather, I don't know, order them once a week, depending on how many uh, requests arrived. If there's a double request, for the same item in the same store, by some reason, uh, for whatever reason, I will also issue a refund to whoever came second. So I will just take the first into into consideration and just buy one of these items, of course. And uh, yeah, if you have any further questions about this, 
feel free to leave a comment and otherwise um, let's see if this works out. If you only tuned in later on, after November the 1st, if this works out well then I'll continue it, probably for other items after making sure uh, which stuff can actually be shipped to Germany and if there's an issue with whatever, but um, okay, for, first of all let's try this and uh, see if we can get some seaweed so I can provide you with some nice analysis. Thanks guys! <laughs>